Hey, James Eagleman at Barber Creek Lumbering Shooting School and Eagle Ballistics. Today we're going to kind of cover real quick how to zero your gun using the EB app because a lot of guys have been asking. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick video, but I'm going to hit it real quick, show you the video and recap. First of all, if you're shooting at 100 yards or 200 yards for your zero, make sure you use the camera itself inside of the phone. Go to the HUD and type in 100 yards, and then you're going to put in wind speed and wind direction. And again, I'm going to show you this again on film. And then aim the camera at the target so it gets the angle you're zeroing the gun at. Then go to the settings in the zero block. You can see all these different blocks. Zero your gun, shoot your three, four, five shot group, and then tell the solver how far you did it. If you had perfect elevation in your zero or left and right offset, if you did, leave everything at zero. At that point, you're going to turn the zero scope lock on, all right? That scope angle lock is what we need for the solver to remember the point where your barrel angle intersects with your line of sight, okay? So watch this video real quick and then I'll hit you at the end. So once I get this gun zeroed, which is pretty quick, here we go, stand by. So we got a pretty good zero already. So let's talk about that. I just zeroed it 100 yards, so I'm gonna go in my ballistic app and I'm gonna put in, make sure I've got, if I got an angle, put in the angle and I'm gonna put in the wind, wind speed and wind direction. Right now the wind is right to left at maybe 0.2 mile an hour. It's almost nothing, but I'm still gonna plug it in. And then I'm gonna go to my zero block. And in the zero block, it says zero range, zero height, zero offset. If you got a perfect zero, which I do, you leave the zero height and zero offset alone and leave them at zero. But let's talk about zero angle. So zero angle is a little bit different than zero range. And the way this works is you zero your gun at whatever range you decide. It takes the angle that your scope is looking at the target or line of sight and the barrel is angled or line of departure. And it calculates or back calculates that angle. And it's gonna remember that. So turn it on once you've got the gun zeroed. So now when you go hunt in Montana, Colorado, wherever else at a different station pressure, it doesn't really matter because it knows the angle that you zeroed at. Okay, so that's how you zero your gun using the Eagle Ballistics app. Again, a recap. First, aim the camera of the phone at the target so you get the angle that you're zeroing at. Shoot a perfect zero, put in the wind speed, wind direction for aerodynamic jump and then go into the solver itself and then turn zero angle lock on, all right, or what's called scope angle lock. And what that does, again, is remember the angle of your scope is looking at line of sight to where your barrel intersects that. So that way, if you are hunting in some place else, it doesn't really matter because all it needs is that angle. It doesn't have to remember the station pressure, temperature, and altitude that you zeroed your scope at or your gun at at home. You don't even have to redo your zero unless you have to. And like I've said before in other videos, I will always recheck my zero anyway. Again, real quick, if you have to re-zero your gun at the new location, unlock it. Re-zero the gun and re-lock it. Use the same steps. All right, I wanted to do this fast, so it's a real quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully this is a good help for you. So thanks for joining us.